Over the past couple of years, Pennsylvania has experienced tremendous growth with the amount of people that are moving here. There are so many great reasons to move to Pennsylvania, but today we're gonna go over some of the main reasons that some of my clients have told me that they have made the move to the great state of Pennsylvania. There's probably not one single reason why somebody might wanna move here, but instead a combination of a bunch of these different reasons. Hey there, I'm Corey Benhart, your Pennsylvania realtor. All of my information is below. I would love to hear from you and help you find your perfect Pennsylvania home. Let's get started with a very common reason on why people are moving to Pennsylvania, and that's the weather. If you currently live on the East Coast, that might sound crazy because East Coast weather is certainly not too great all times of the year. If you've only ever experienced living in a place that has all four seasons, you might be done with it because of how extreme both the winters and the summers are. But a lot of my clients that are moving or have moved from the South, the West Coast, etc., they love the change of seasons because they aren't used to that. Depending on where you're moving from, if you're moving from the South or the West Coast, all you really know is hot and hotter during the year. You have really no change of seasons. So being able to live in a place like Pennsylvania where you can experience all four seasons and actually see the seasons change can be a huge plus for some people for moving here. Pennsylvania weather can be pretty harsh sometimes, but overall it's great to experience the cold winters, the warm spring season, a very hot and humid summer, and a very brisk fall. Pennsylvania averages around 40 inches of rain per year, and depending on where in Pennsylvania you end up living, your town could average anywhere from 20 to 100 inches of snow per year. Our summers here are a lot different than the West Coast where you experience dry heat. We definitely don't experience dry heat in Pennsylvania. It is extremely humid in the summers. So if you've never experienced a Pennsylvania winter or summer, I would highly recommend coming to visit before you end up moving here. The second reason why people are moving to Pennsylvania is the overall recreation. Back to the four seasons, I've heard a lot of people say that they're concerned about trying to stay active all throughout the seasons, even in the dead of winter and in the summertime when it's so hot and humid that you get sweaty just by walking to your car or to the mailbox. One of my favorite things about living here is all of the different things you can do all year round. During the winter, there are plenty of winter sports such as skiing, snowboarding, tubing, ice skating, ice hockey, snowmobiling, etc. But if those aren't anything you're interested in, you can still go for a bike ride, jog, walk the dog, and all the stuff that you can do during the summer that you would still be able to do in the winter as well. Just because it's cold and in the dead of winter or it's super hot with 80 to 90% humidity, that doesn't really stop Pennsylvanians from still going outside and enjoying all the outdoor activities. When we're in the middle of summer, there are still plenty of things to do to stay cool, such as heading over to a couple local lakes or rivers to go boating, swimming, etc. Or you can make the short drive to the beaches in New Jersey to enjoy the ocean. And if you plan on buying a home with a pool, that's an option as well. Another reason why people are moving here and arguably one of the most popular reasons why people are moving here is because of the location of Pennsylvania. We're located near so many amazing places with tons of things to do. Depending on where in Pennsylvania you end up living, you could only be a couple of hours from the Jersey Shore, which also has Atlantic City, which is kind of like a little Las Vegas, but right on the beach. You could also be a couple of hours to New York City, a short drive to our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., and you could also visit Baltimore and Boston as well. If you're a big international traveler and close proximity to an international airport is very important to you, we have multiple international airports in Pennsylvania, and also by living in Pennsylvania, you're that much closer to Europe as opposed to if you were on the West Coast, you would have to travel all the way to most likely Philadelphia International Airport or JFK to then get on another plane and fly right to Europe. But since you're already on the East Coast, you can fly directly to Europe and it shortens down your travel time significantly. If you don't mind a couple hour plane ride, you could also take the very short ride to Florida as well to enjoy the beautiful beaches down there. This is another reason that you might actually not even know about, and that is Pennsylvania's incredibly diverse education and career options. There's a very diverse job market here in PA with plenty of opportunities in healthcare, education, technology, finance, and manufacturing. There are 23 Fortune 500 companies right here based out of Pennsylvania, and just a couple of those companies are Comcast, Rite Aid, Dick Sporting Goods, Hershey Company, and Toll Brothers. Pennsylvania is of course home to Philadelphia, which is the fifth largest city in the entire country. And of course there are tons and tons of job opportunities right in the city as well. All right, so now let's talk about the education options here in Pennsylvania. And you might actually be surprised that one of the eight 
Ivy League schools is located right here in Pennsylvania, and that is the University of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania has over 10 top colleges and universities, and some of those are the University of Pennsylvania, Carnegie Mellon, Lehigh University, and Villanova University. So another reason why people are moving to Pennsylvania is the overall various living options that we have here in PA. Unlike some states, you can live every type of living here in Pennsylvania. And what I mean by that is, if you're looking for a skyscraper condo building with amenities and all within the building and walkability to just about everything, we have that. We also have the traditional suburban living with single family and townhome neighborhoods with a small downtown walkable area, but we also have farm style living where your home could be miles away from your neighbor and you could have farm animals and tons of land and privacy. If you want a mixture of two of these options, that's also doable as well. I recently had a client move from a very big city into the suburbs, but she wanted to enjoy suburban living, but still be able to experience some sort of downtown feel because she was used to being so close to everything in that city that she moves from. So that's exactly what we found her. We found her a great home with tons of space and privacy that she didn't have in the city, but only a couple minute walk or drive to the downtown walkable area. All right, so now let's talk about the cost of living in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is one of the more affordable states in the country, and when it comes to the East Coast, we're one of the most affordable by far. Keep in mind that the specific cost of living really depends on the county and the town that you end up moving to, but as a whole, Pennsylvania is still very affordable. The average price of a home in Pennsylvania is $254,722, and that increased by 3.4% over the last year. The taxes in Pennsylvania are not too bad either compared to some of the other states, and most of the states on the East Coast. Pennsylvania is known to be a flat rate income tax state, which means no matter how much you make, everyone is taxed at the same 3.07% rate, as opposed to other states where the more you make, the higher your tax bracket increases. Pennsylvania is also very retirement friendly because the state doesn't tax pensions or social security payments either. Another reason why people are moving to Pennsylvania is the overall history that we have here in PA. Pennsylvania played a very vital role in American history. Philadelphia was the special place where the Declaration of Independence was drafted in 1776. Philadelphia served as the temporary capital of the United States from 1790 to 1800. We had the Battle of Gettysburg in Gettysburg, PA, along with the Liberty Bell. Ben Franklin was very prevalent in Philadelphia and so much more. If you love history and you love to be in close proximity to tons of history, Pennsylvania and more specifically the Philadelphia area might be a great option for you. And now on to another reason, which is one of my favorite reasons, and that is sports. Pennsylvania is known to have some diehard sports fans, both in Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, our two largest cities. Pennsylvania is home to some of the professional sports teams, such as the Philadelphia Flyers, the Philadelphia Sixers, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Pittsburgh Steelers, etc. Just fair warning, both Pittsburgh and Philadelphia fans are known to be die-hard fans. So no matter where you're moving from, if you're a die-hard fan of another team and in another state, please don't be disrespectful when you come here. Just stay to yourself and enjoy your team, wear your jerseys, support your team, but just don't be disrespectful to the Pennsylvania fans. Another reason why many people move to Pennsylvania is because of the public school education ratings. Pennsylvania was recently ranked at number 18 for the best public schools in the country. If we take a look at the top 10 districts in Pennsylvania, six of them are located in the Philadelphia area and four of them are located in the Pittsburgh area. The number one overall public school district in all of Pennsylvania is the Radnor Township School District, which is located in the Radnor Wayne area of the Philadelphia suburbs. Pennsylvania has tons of other options for schooling rather than just public schools. If you're looking into private school or charter school, I would definitely recommend checking out niche.com for more information on those types of schools. If you're ready to make Pennsylvania your home, I would love to hear from you. All of my contact information is below, but until then, I will see you over on this video where we talk about some of the things that you need to know before moving to the state of Pennsylvania.